Hello, citizens of Byzantium, and welcome to a new Let's Play. So, I decided to start a new Let's Play of Byzantium. Um... Yeah. So, Byzantium starts out in a really, really, really weak spot. It is almost gone from the map, basically. They have, we have three provinces. We're surrounded by the Ottomans. The Ottomans have a larger army. They have a larger navy. Uh, they will also ally themselves to Algiers, which is also pretty strong, and Crimea, which are also pretty strong. And um, yeah, we are basically we are basically doomed to die. This Byzantium. Um, fortunately, though, I think I found, uh, I, for the first time I played Byzantium, I used kind of a solution, which is to build a lot of galleys. Because galleys get a bonus to... When, when fighting in, in, in inland seas, and the uh, Mediterranean is just full of inland seas. So let's just remove every, every non-galley we have and just build more galleys. As much, as many of them as possible. Which is currently five, but okay. It's okay. We have an army, a small one, but no, it's an army nonetheless. Um, let's make friends with Austria. Let's make friends with... Um, it actually gets really strong, really strong. Let's make allies with Poland. That's it for now. What are merchants doing? Our merchants are trying to... Well, this one is trying to collect from trade for some reason. And he's collecting from trade how much exactly? 0.13. Yeah, that's that's a lot. You better stop doing that. Okay, and this one collects from trade, it's, which is okay. About technology, since we are willing to get an instantaneous advantage over our enemies, we want ideas. Ideas give you... Let's put it that way. Technologies, they grant you less in the short run, but in the long run, they give you more. Ideas give you more in the short run, but less in the long run. Since we're going to be fighting in the audience in the short run, we need an advantage over them in the short run. At least that's my logic. We have been warned to not to go to war with any countries. Ah, hm. oh, yeah, the, the music, the special Byzantium music kicking in. I love it. Build another galley. Arms are busy fighting a war with Albania. If they're gonna declare war on us, I'm just gonna quit and restart because that's fucking bullshit. Oh, with Crimea and Algiers. Let's rival the Ottomans. What's that gonna give us? Ottomans are. Crimea of Byzantium, okay. Austria, rivaling Burgundy, great, we're gonna rival them. No, no, not rivaling anyone at the moment. Let's rival Burgundy, just like Austria. Austria, we're best pals ever. Ever, come on, I'm gonna be fine. 
I'm gonna be best friends, Austria. I wanna be your best friends. The best friends with you. I wanna be best friends with Austria. I wanna be best friends with Austria. How many diplomatic relations we get? Four. We only used one to keep this vassal Athens with us. They're Catholic, by the way. Which makes no sense. And they're trying to convert it, I think. No, they're not. Okay. Thank, thank God. Because we're orthodox, we don't want Athens to be Catholic. Oh, wow. That is really lucky for us. I have been lucky enough to appoint an excellent minister whose actions will most likely great benefit our realm. Reap the administrative benefits. Wow, that's free stability. Wow, great. Love it. Okay, we got, we got ten galleys now. And we can get three more. Let's do it. I mean, we can get three more without breaking the force limit. Austria, Austria, come on! Slowly but surely, we're gonna work him. We're gonna work on him. We're gonna work on him. We need an enemy of enemy with. Poland as well, I feel like. Maybe not. I feel like maybe we should improve relations with Valaki as well. But we don't have to do diplomat yet. As soon as we're done with someone big, then maybe. Select target. Select target. Actually, kind of want to enable a leader. Cost you fifty diplomatic. Alexa Andreas Pselos. Okay. <laughs> no mission selected. And Salt Burgundy, our rival. <laughs> okay, let's do it. We hate them and we want them to know it. Oh, we have no diplomats to send. Uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, as soon as our diplomat becomes free, <coughs> we're gonna do that one. That's an easy mission. Mission. I just hope the Byzantines, I mean the Ottomans, will not declare war on us. Although they're rivaling the Mamluks currently. Do they have the mission though? They have the special mission though. <sighs> oh, there it is, the royal marriage. Return home, 20 days. Oh, I didn't want the royal marriage. <laughs> That's pathetic. Okay, let's insult Burgundy and then get back go back to Poland. Insult Burgundy our rival. Protect against Ottomans. Twenty seven, yeah. That's That's not gonna work out. <coughs> Go back to Poland. Back to Poland. Yeah, they're not driving like anyone yet, like, still. Aww. Aww. Okay, hopefully Austria will be alliable soon. Oh, this guy's 
busy. Oh, Razan just lost a war to Golden Horde. Razan is busy fighting Kazan. Which is actually a I like this Scotland. <laughs> the best situation for Novgorod to to award the Falk is dead. Athenian noble rebels. Well, not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> not my problem. Allied with Crimea and Karakunya. Let's check the navies, shall we? So, we have we're not we have less. We have 13 galleys, and the Ottomans have 5 trade ships and 8 galleys, which means 13 ships overall, and 5 transports, 18. Mm. <coughs> then, Crimea also has a lot of ships. And Karakunlu also has some ships on their own. Maybe we should, like, ally Venice. Oh no, they're hostile towards us. Never mind. Naples. Aragon. Aragon might be a good ally. Let's let's think about allying Aragon. Okay, Austria is at maximum. Are they willing to do... No, they're not willing to do a royal marriage. That sucks. Can we get a statesman? God damn it! It's level 3. Why well, he had to be level 3? Okay, we're gonna work at Aragon then, instead of Austria. Okay, great. Alliance. Hmm. No. I don't want it yet. Okay, let's work in Aragon then. Relations, improve, send. Let's try to do something with Mamluks over here. Mamluks over here. Watch out now, it's Mamluks over here. Well, Ottomans are busy with the war. Great. But Akkunlu. He's a relative after all. So, our core situation looks pretty solid. Although we're gonna lose this core pretty darn soon. <clears throat> Which means we're gonna get it soon. We need to get it soon. Okay. Naxos. Things are surrounded. Huh. They're a hustle of Venice. No big deal. Mm -hmm. Come on, Poland. Bring your rivals to Teutonic Order. Okay, let's rival Teutonic Order. I'll do it gladly. For all I care. Aragon is rivaling nobody yet, okay. But who will collect the tax? So we can get 40% ratio. No, 60% ratio. I'm mistaken here. Um, so 6. I'll just build a couple of knights then. A couple of knights. There we are. Let's have our unit situation, by the way. We can get. We can be. We can have Bardish infantry or Eastern Medieval infantry. Let's get Bardish infantry. And, um, yeah, let's leave Eastern Knights. <coughs> Badiche. Touche. These are here 3 2 2. Basically, want RD to die as well as our air, hopefully. Okay, great. Cyprus. Oh, we also have this. Okay. 
Oh, it looks like it flipped to us. Great. Great, 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 great. Did we get additional force limits anywhere? No. No, we didn't. Sad face. Peasant? Peasant? Hmm. Minimum revolt risk, 3%. Hmm, weird. You can't hash treat him. It's cheap. Yeah, let's harsh treat him. 3% is too much for me. Okay, mm -hmm. we built our army to the limit. What mamluks think of us now? 33, 69. Okay, Poland will accept an alliance. <coughs> Austria's still being a dick. Allied with Brandenburg. Okay, let's ally Poland. Mamluks are not even close, and we cannot royal marriage them, so it's, there's no point. Okay, why run the paper? Good. Offer alliance to Poland. Perfect. At war with Teutonic Order as well. Perfect. Polish subjugation of Teutonic Order. Hm. Dynastic actions. Should we improve relations with Brandenburg? Let's do it. <laughs> How are we doing in Aragon? Close to royal marriage, which is good. Good! Great! Awesome! I like it. I like it. I like it when they scream. Current war is Bosnia. Serbia is fighting Bosnia. How unpredictable. Impredictabile. Impredictabile. Okay, whatever, I'm not gonna try. Algiers is busy fighting Castile, which is great for us, because they're not allied to the Ottomans then. Tunisia is. On the other hand. On the other hand. This is great. Golden era for, cu for culture. Buy prestige for free. For free. Yay. Free prestige. Dynastic actions. Dynastic actions. Okay, we've got an close enough to royal marriage. Aragon is pretty much done soon anyway, so let's just wait a bit. There we go. Diplomat is going back from Aragon. I'm not gonna ally us just yet, but the royal marriage is good enough for me. Okay. Now, back to Austria, or maybe, maybe Valachia. Ooh, let's, let's do alliances with these little miners over here. We're gonna go over our, our relations limit, but meh. They'll probably not accept. Lol, I like to rival. Ally all the miners! Ally all the miners! 
Awesome! Now we have a lot of alliances here. Mostly they're pretty small and useless, but... Well... You know... No, those are alliances anyway. Well, Moldavian zealots. Moldavian zealots. <coughs> Ruthenia. Ruthenia. Muscovy is not going to be helpful here. Valachia, Serbia, and Bosnia are like three little countries that are kind of helpful. Aragon. Mm -hmm. We need a statesman. We can only get level three statesman, which is not what I wanted. Austria, 41 minus, minus 70, no, this is not great, this is not great, let's try to do something with France here, maybe a bunch of other minus, like Brandenburg, how soon to Brandenburg can accept royal marriage, I think not that soon, no, not soon enough. We're close to be done with improving relations with them, and they're nowhere close. Mostly because of the distance between borders, but... Naples would be a good one, but we cannot get them in. Georgia, by the way. We can get them. We can get them. On the boat. Let's send a diplomat. France has potential, Brandenburg does not. Let's just send this due to Georgia. Georgia, sweet Georgia, with the history books and Folger. With the history books and Folger. Okay, now we have seven relations. Some of them are just royal marriages, and one of them is just a vassalage. Some relations with Athens and uh, annex them, annex him as soon as possible because we don't need any land from from this region. We already have cores on it, so why bother? <coughs> oh come on, Epirus is Sunni now. Come on, come on, come on. in Tangiers. Is it over here? Yeah, it's over here. Interesting. Let's get Genoa on the boat here. Just at least we could try. Oh, we're, we're already improving relations with someone else. Okay. Okay then. Okay, thanks, bye. We already have a lot of relations, a lot of alliances here. Poland, a bunch of miners, Georgia, a marriage with Aragon, Scotland. That stability was boost to us for free anyway. Sadly, we couldn't get Austria on the boat here, but yeah, whatever. Allied to a rival. They're allied with Burgundy. Maybe, maybe we should out with Burgundy. Oh, we were insulted them. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> never mind then. We have, we, never mind then. We have insulted them. So. Not gonna work out. Strike now. You have no diplomat. 
Sebastian. Okay, let's stop the relations with France. And let's just check, actually, who's gonna join in the war against the Ottomans. Just to see. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, maybe. Maybe we could... Maybe we could beat them right now. Beat them up. They can potentially summon 23,000. And they have a larger fleet at the moment. Hmm, let's raise the maintenance. So we can have time. Okay, let's check. Who's gonna join the war against the Ottomans? No one but Serbia. Uh, no one but Bosnia, I mean. I hope they're not getting the Lucky Nations bonus. I hope they're not. Oh, marriage offer from the infants, okay. Didn't think about that. <laughs> Ottomans. Ottomans, 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 Ottomans. Kinda wish I would be able to check their modifiers. Oh, look at that. We got Cyprus flipping to us. Now we can build four more ships and two more uh, units. Let's do it. Four more galleys. Beautiful, beautiful. Didn't even notice that at, at first. Still have revolt risk there, which is unfortunate. Things harsh treat them though. It costs 80 military power. Come on. Makes no sense. Trebizond, 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 Trebizond. Allied to our rival? Oh, Georgia. Okay. Georgia, sweet Georgia, but the history books unfold you. Mission Recover Antioch. Antioch. Key holy city must be brought back to the empire. No, not yet. Hungary. Enemy of our enemy is Hungary. Uh, ready? Ready, Hungary? Uh, I don't think so. Still, they're sitting at this 12,000 now. This might be the right moment to strike. Nobody would hesitate. Someone wouldn't hesitate. And Mamluks are hostile for some reason now. Hmm. Not sure why. I, I guess that's because Cyprus, they have a claim on it. Probably that's the reason. <coughs> Not the best course of action. Alliance. Very 
Subject nation. Subject nation. Whoa, 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 easy there, Poland. Whoa, whoa, easy there, Poland. Wow, Poland. You're really a bull you're, you're a real bully, are you? Okay, Serbia, Bosnia, and Valachia. All three of them are gonna join, but not Poland or Georgia. Let's wait a bit. Just a bit. Maybe Poland will actually join. This would be great. Okay, let's... We can get idea group, finally. What do you want? Ideas or diplomatic ideas? I think we need diplomatic ideas. I might be wrong though, but I think I need the, this diplomat. And I need di additional diplomatic relations with people. And diplomatic ideas are just so good. Aragon is really close though. Let's keep improving relations with Aragon. <coughs> Aragon. Aragon online. Here's my ships. Here's my units. Thematrix. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this episode of playing Byzantium. Hopefully in the next video we're going to make some progress. Until then, see you in the next video. Bye!